Hello everybody. Today I proudly present IV. IV is a powerful programmable calculator based on the famous programming language for IB can be very big, like this one with cherry keys, not yet finished, or it can be very small, like this one, or a convenient size with the credit card size, like this one. The hardware is simple, all you need is an OLED display, 16 push buttons uh, covered by a foil, an Arduino Micro, and if you would like a battery, some kind of battery charging board and a, an on-off switch. So let's switch it on. This is the prompt. So if I enter some number, you see you are in the first level of the stack, the A level, and you are in number input mode. So you can clear the entry and correct some number. Enter it with the bound key. This is also the duplication key and the X key is the drop key. So the next number is 113, one, let's make an addition with F divide. This is an, an approximation for P. So if you want to, for instance, pull the square root of 2, you can go to the dictionary F4, where all commands or let's say words are listed, and you can move to the square root sign, press 9. This is the square root of 2. But there is an easier and faster way with the user menu. Um, if I long press F, I defined uh, earlier uh, to put on the first place uh, the square root word. So press F and here we go, that's the square root of 2. So um, Ivy always calculates uh, with complex numbers. And if I enter 1 and 1 and go to the complex mode, I have entered in level A a number real 1 and imaginary 1. And I can toggle between the polar view and rectangular view. Or I can go back to the stack view. Okay. Nearly every function uh, is calculated in complex mode, so that's a very powerful of this small device. And very powerful too is the program function with F8. Here we see the programs, there are now two programs in it, uh, Fn and uh, three minors named, uh, two programs which need 17 uh, bytes and 884 bytes are now free to program. Let's edit the first program. Um, this is not that what I wanted to show. Duplicate um, to minus. This is a simple function which um, says duplicate the stack, uh, multiply, actually square it, and uh, subtract two of it the function key and there are uh, some kind of calculus functions which are always on this uh, first function the program part so if I want to to calculate this function with the number 5 I can go to F5 and see 5 times 5 uh, minus 2 is 23 and I can simple plot this function let's say I go the x range of minus 2 to 2, plot the function. You see this is, is quadratic and now I can calculate the positive root and I also would like to calculate the, uh, the area of this sector here. So if I enter a start value like 8, go to the solver, then I see the positive root of square root of 2 and if I would like to the range from 0 to this root and make an integration then the area is obviously negative and 1.88 big. So some kind of calculus and um, 
one strength of this machine is uh, to, to calculate in a different basis. For instance, if I want to go to the hexadecimal system and enter the base 16 with F G 8, now the indicator changes to this base mode and the base is 16 and I can enter some hexadecimal number and if I if I leave this mode this was the number in decimal that I entered go back and I can do some simple calculations here too let's say I want to multiply this with FF shift multiply then I did this leave the base mode okay and there's some special mode for accountants or finance calculator. Uh, if I enter the base mode of 10, oops, sorry, 10 FF base, I'm the 10 base mode with 10, and here I can enter with, uh, with a lot of numbers and including decimal numbers lines, very big numbers and also behind the dot point. So I can enter, enter and square this number. It's very big number so you can calculate with trillions of dollars with cent accuracy. Okay, let's enter this end of the mode. So there are a lot of other functions uh, like statistics, or hyperbolics, trigonometrics, uh, a lot of unit conversions, even a torch or a simple watch. If you have 830, you can enter a simple watch, which is 830 and the seconds. Very, very simple watch. Yeah. Okay, I think that's it for now. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.